Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case, Traveling Time and we are finally back in prison but we got more surprising matters to deal with and that's huh, the case go back to the future. Lots of things have changed and we have a giant pyramid in the middle of New York. In New York! That's not supposed to happen. Well, it's 2029, you never know, but it could be a glitch for history. Katria, according to the Thai circuit, we are home. New York 2029. Awesome! We're finally back! I can't wait to see the Jiva tell him everything. But our sabotage time machine? About Leonardo da Vinci fixing the... Can your official briefing wait until tomorrow? I'm ready for a shower and the longest nap in history. Let's go outside, everyone, to breathe the sweet air of 2029 again. Let's go. Uh, and we, where are we? Oh, sweet home, Katarina. Wait, some of these buildings look familiar, but is that a giant pyramid in the middle of Manhattan? What's been happening in New York since we've been gone? You, stop there. Who are you? And what? Silence! You're under arrest by order of the Faria. Uh... Under arrest? Sir, we are agents of the Temporal Crimes. We know who you are. Enemies of the Ptolemy Dynasty. We have orders to seize your time machine and take you to the New Cairo Penitentiary. New Cairo? What are you? You girl, with the Egyptian facial markings. You're coming with us to the palace. Take your hands off the bed! She's... Quiet outlaws! Sergeant Katria, your adventure is over. Your cell awaits. Let's go. New York is controlled by some kind of Egyptians. Katria, what's happening? Why are we prisoners? I tried asking those guards, but they gave me a black eye instead of answers. We were ambushed, Katrina. Those guards are waiting for us to return, to seize our time machine and arrest us. What about this palace where they've taken a bed? Why did they discover she's from the past? Or did they hurt her? Those guards looked Egyptian, and they said New York was now called New Cairo. The bed being Egyptian might work in her favor. But I don't understand. My readings confirm we landed in New York 2029. Except this isn't the 2029 I remember. Something's very wrong. We must find the chief and figure out what's happened. Which means we have to get out of here. Katia's right. Let's search ourselves for anything that might help us escape. Come on, team. We can do this. Oh, dear. We have some we have some future Egyptians controlling uh, New York, which is now New Cairo. What in the what in the time travel cost that? Is it the uh, well? Let's think about what. Wait, well, it started in our our adventure started in Egypt, and uh, we Nebet stuck into our time machine. So it, did that cost something? Anyway, let's search the cell and there's no body. We're not supposed to expe expect a body. If we, there was a body, we would have seen it already. I don't like where this is going. Dices. Okay, got everything. Katria, I think all the guards dropped that piece of paper. It looks like a to-do list. Luckily, I grabbed the forensic key from the time machine. 
Let's look out of Fate of Dex and see if it'll help us escape. Right. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly. Well, we would have expected um, an autopsy to be... To be off, we would have found a body to be out of city, and then I would just stop recording this video and then collect all the stars. Collect uh, as much stars as I'm gonna need. But alright, I'm just gonna do this quickly for you guys. Okay, we got it. Alright, now let's do the to do list. Let's see. You ambushed us. And who wanted you to do that? Lock up prisoners, report the ferry up. Okay, read the next one. The glass paper has password written on it, Katarina. This could be our way out of here. It's a drawing of an Egyptian deity. Perhaps if we type their name into that security panel, it will open the cell door. It's worth a try. Katrina, can you reach that security panel? Careful not to touch those laser bars. Usually laser bars in the future games will just block you and not not burn you. That's what I know. We need to get the fuck out of here. And I'm now thinking like we we sent the message to Chief Scott in the 1960s and he didn't get that message. So So that must be how so that must be how uh, those guys knew we were gonna come. They were just waiting for us to come. Yeah, the password was Anubis. That drawing is of Anubis, Katrina. That's a password, and it's deactivated the laser bars. We're free! Alright, everyone, let's get out of here before. Not so fast! Did you think you could. Whack. Ha, huh, it worked! Hello, that trick of Alexandre King Francis's court. Thank God for that. Good job, Benello. And keep the crowbar with you in case we need you again. Let's go into Thai headquarters. If there's anywhere we'll find answers, it's there. Okay, let's just sneak. Times Square. Katria, this is Times Square, except it's not. Everything is different somehow. And there is hieroglyphics everywhere. So it looks like a strange mix of modern New York and ancient Egypt. I have a bad feeling about this, Katrina. Where's Time Headquarters? All I see here is an apartment building. But we are definitely at the right address. And Katrina's right. One of the residents of that building is Christopher Scott. She must be must live here. Well, those guards are after us, so we can't stand here talking. Let's go upstairs and find the chief. He'll explain everything. Okay, let's go. Chief, we need your help. I only met you once, but you are my buddy. You are our buddy. Your biggest power is you can come back with great quotes. So you can stay calm. Chief! Jeez, not what I expected. Well, I actually did expect something to go wrong when I saw that picture of the chap of the case. We only met like once, and now I find you dead. It's no wonder you didn't receive the message. What? What? God damn it. What a weapon? Or smartphone? There. Glass crack. Ah! You gotta be joking. I'm not. I'm gonna repeat it. I don't wanna spend another 5,000 coins.
When it said glass, I was looking for a glass as in glass or something. That's why I clicked on the whiskey. Oh god damn it. Not again. Where's the bracelet? Oh there. Ben! 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 Oh there! Oh god. I almost thought I was I was I was I was gonna have to repeat this again. My god, Katrina! The chief! He's dead! So I slash his throat with an electric knife! Look at all this blood! No! How could the chief be gone? Why would anyone do this? This is a nightmare, Katrina. First we are arrested and our time machine is confiscated, the war we know is drastically alert, altered, and now our chief's been murdered. What the heck is going on? I think deep down we all know what this means. There's clearly been a major disruption of the timeline. This is not our 2029. We are in New Cairo, ruled by a strange Egyptian dynasty. We have no way to contact time, and for some reason, we are wanted criminals. Well, we might be fugitives, but we are also the best detectives in history. We must get to the bottom of this. Janice, Theo, I want you to set up makeshift labs in the chief's apartment. I'll examine the body straight away, Katrina. I won't have my equipment, but I'll do my best. Katrina, Jack, you examined that electric knife. It must be a murder weapon. Go ahead and collect some of that strange substance on the blade. Yeah, we should search this apartment for more clues. We must learn everything we can about our chief in this alternate timeline. Let's get to work. Well, seeing how he's dressed, something tells me that time doesn't exist in this, in this timeline. Okay, I'll gotta examine the knife before going to the crime scene. I collected the stars I need. Nice work like the sus story electric knife, Katrina. Let's see what Theo can make of it. Okay. That's gonna be three hours as always. Now let's let's look let's look into Chief's living room again. Oh no, I told myself I was going to buy a magnifying glass. Now I gotta zip and not talk. Katria, you found a photograph of the chief. He's very young, but I recognize him anywhere. That's his graduation from the new Cairo College of Science, which means the Egyptians already ruled when the chief was young. But it also means that everything is different to this timeline. Our chief also studied science. He was a nuclear physicist before he joined time. Who's the other guy in the photo? Do you recognize him? No. But now that we are back in 2029, we could probably find this guy through social media. And put that to one paper back together should be easy, Katrina. Come on, team. Let's do this for the chief. And for the world. Which isn't... Which when, and when we say world, we mean the world we lived in before we went time traveling.
Okay, so Yukai existed when uh, Chief was still young, so for that long. So that must be. We'll see how old is our Chief and when we send that message uh, for. Uh, SOS message and. Well, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with it, but. Could be somewhere from 1970s, 1960s that this Yukai existed. Exist. That's. That's why. Yes. Katia, the guy in the chief's graduation photo is his brother, Emmett. I found him on Frednet and sent him a message. He's agreed to come here and talk with us. Hopefully we can convince the chief's brother to help us find the killer. Okay. Okay, now the torn card. Hopefully if we sold this, whether maybe we'll get on uh, Varios or whoever is uh, ruling here on the on good side. A taxi? Katria, I can't believe the chief's dead. I thought we'd be giving him a debrief, not sowing his murder. I know, things are pretty bleak. But we got another clue. The door paper Katria found is a business card. For a taxi driver named Lenny Saunders. Let's call Mr. Saunders and have him meet us out front of the building. Yeah, we must not get out of here. So that, uh, well, those guys are looking for us. Alright, let's have a chat with Emmett. Who are you people are? You're telling me my brother's been murdered? That's insane! You don't know the half of it. And what are you doing in Chris's apartment? We're your brother's friends. We came for a visit and found him dead. Believe us, we are just as dismayed. We're trying to understand what happened. Before the cops. I mean... I don't blame you for not trusting the cops. There are a bunch of corrupt bullies with no interest in helping anyone. But I can't tell you much about my brother. I don't see him very often. Especially after he got fired. Fired? For what job? Fired? For the time agency? What time agency? No, for the research institute. Physics or something. That's what he's been doing ever since he graduated. Oh my god. But they let him go about a year ago and Chris got depressed. Stop going out. Hardly return my calls. It's sad to say, but I bet his landlord knows more about my brother than I do. Anyway, I'd better go. You look like a decent bunch. Let's have a drink one day to honor his memory. Oh my god. Katria, my head is spinning. I bet the chief never worked for time in this timeline. He was a scientist all his life. Yeah, his brothers never ever even heard of the agency. Katria's right, we should talk to that landlord I would mention. There's a directory by the front door. His name is Abrax Tiakin. He lives on the top floor. But we better pretend to be private detectives. We don't want Mr. Tiake calling the real cops. Okay. So, soft details with the time doesn't exist. So if Emma doesn't know about that, then... Jeez, I don't like where this is going. Knew something was... I knew something was gonna go wrong after we... And at the very beginning where we started time traveling. Somebody call a taxi? Where are your folks headed? What's with your teeth? Why do you have two gold tooth on both sides? On the one side or the other. I don't like it. No offense. We don't need a ride. We're after information about one of your passengers. Information? If you're not paying for a ride, I don't have time for, for talk. Please, Mr. Saunders, we need your help. Our friend's dead and we need to know what happened to him. His name was Chris Scott. Mr. Scott? Yeah, he's regular. I drove him home last night. Last night? Where did you pick him up? Well, it was all by those... Look, I ain't done nothing wrong. Mr. Saunders, we... Forget it! I don't want to get mixed up in any funny business! Jeez. Let it go, Katrina. We can contact Mr. Saunders if we need him. 
Oh, I was hoping he was gonna tell us in the next location. Well, actually, no, we don't need it. <laughs> because we already unlocked the second crime scene. <laughs> Mr. Tiakin, we are private detectives investigating the murder of one of your tenants, Christopher Scott. What? The guy at 257B is dead? Do you know how hard it will be to find a new tenant? Anyway, go ahead and ask your questions. Was there ever a government agency in this building? Something called... Government agency? No, it's always been an apartment building. My family has owned it for years. I see. And what about Mr. Scott? Did you know him? No, he was always pretty quiet. Exactly the kind of tenant I like. Although he's been late with his rent recently since he lost his job. Anyway, I better start putting an advert together now that I have a vac vacant apartment. Don't do that yet. That place is a crime scene now. I don't like where this is going. Let's see how did Chief die, if we should call him Chief. Isn't this terrible, Katrina? Not only has our world been turned upside down, the Chief's been murdered. Who knows what's happened to our timeline? I hope my grandchildren are okay. We'll find the answers to all our questions, Janice. But first, we must catch the Chief's killer. Well, I don't need my lab to tell you the Chief's stroke was cut with that electric knife you found, Katerina. It's a nasty wound. Who would do such a thing? While I can't tell you exactly who, I started to build a profile of the killer. I found trace of carbonated liquid deep in the wound, splashed there by the killer during the murder. I suspected it was some kind of soft drink. There was nothing in the apartment, so I went and bought every fizzy drink I could find from the shop downstairs. After cross-referencing them all, I determined the killer splash rocket sphinx into the throat wound. It's an energy drink. Rocket sphinx instead of rocket cow. <laughs> The cure will need all the energy they can get to stay ahead of you, Katrina. Rocket Sphinx, wow. You want the drink changed. What about the creepy substance? I found an old microscope that she had lying around, Katrina, so I set up a makeshift lab in his bathroom. But you won't believe this. I looked up my family to see whether they are okay in this timeline. I found them online, but our entire family fortune has dis disappeared. My parents run a small bakery in New Cairo. Oh dear. I wish I could contact them, but while we are wanted fugitives, it's too dangerous. We're all concerned about our loved ones, but right now we must focus on our investigation. Like that creepy substance Kataria found on the murder weapon. The compound is a mixture of beeswax and tallow, the primary ingredients of leather conditioner, or more specifically, crocodile skin leather. Crocodile skin? Yes, crocodiles are sacred to the Egyptians and are considered a symbol of power. In New Cairo, wearing crocodile skin shoes must be a real status symbol. If the curious bush is leather conditioner on the murder weapon, they must be wearing crocodile skin shoes. Katria, you have to hold me back from skinning them alive once I get my hands on the chief killer. Uh, I think the question should be why do they want him dead? Katria, we faced incredible odds getting back to 2029. We're going to find everything's changed. The new rock we know is gone, replaced by the bizarre new Cairo. Our time machine is because sophisticated, we are wanted criminals and a bet's been captured. And worst of all, Chief Scott is... dead. So far, our investigation has been almost fruitless, Katarina. The Chief's brother, Emma, said that in this timeline he was a nuclear scientist, but Emma knew nothing about time. I just saw searching on the internet, Katarina, and from what I can tell, the agency, and even time travel itself don't exist in this timeline. That's nuts! Meanwhile, the building's landlord hardly knew anything about the chief's personal life, and that taxi driver was afraid to even talk to us. We must find out what caused this mess, starting by solving the chief's murder. 
Did you say murder? The other people asking questions about that get dead guy upstairs. Maybe. What's it to you? For the right price, I might have information you'd be interested in. I saw the kill run out of the building. I hope you can help. Well, first tell us, then we are going to pay you. Just so we can make sure that the information is very valuable. Alright, we gotta stop. Here we go, continue playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!